I want to show you how you can go from the effective rate to the annual percentage rate or the nominal rate on the HP 12C calculator. Now I've done this for the HP, I believe it's the 10B2 calculator, as well as for the TI BA2 Plus calculator. Now those are really quite easy because they actually have an interest rate conversion function built in that allows you just to type in the nominal rate or the APR and then just tell it how many compounding periods and then it, it, it calculates the effective rate and you can go in the other direction as well. The 12C doesn't have this function so there are a few keystrokes you have to go through. So just to recap here, the annual percentage rate is the periodic interest rate multiplied by the number of periods. It's sometimes referred to as the nominal rate and it's the annual rate quoted by law. So for example, if it's 1% per month, they're 12 months in a year, the APR is going to be 12% per year. What the APR does not do is it does not account for the effects of compounding. The effective rate does account for compounding, so what it does is this, this interest rate is expressed as if it were compounded once per year. So we're allow, this allows us to do comparisons of rates with different compounding periods. So for example, suppose you could get 12.5% compounded annually, so once a year, or you get 12% compounded daily. What's the better choice? Um, if we calculate the effective rate for the 12% compounded daily, we can compare it to that 12.5% rate and determine which is better. So the formula is that the EAR is you take the APR, you divide it by the number of compounding periods, and the APR has to be in decimal form. So if it's 12%, it has to be 0.12. You would, if it's monthly compounding, you divide it by 12, and then you'd raise it to the 12th power. Well, you'd add 1 to it, and then raise it to the 12th power, and then you subtract 1. So you can th think about this. Let's say it's 12% monthly. This is going to be 1% per month for 12 months. So you're going to get 1% each month, and then the next month you're going to get another 1%, but there's that compounding effect. Let's try and do the calculation here. And mathematically, let's do this for an 18% APR for a credit card. And that's a pretty common rate. It's 1.5% per month. What you do is you take that 0.18, you divide it by 12. That's 1.5% or 0.015. You raise it to the 12th. You add 1 to it and then raise it to the 12th power and subtract 1. And if you do that, you get 0.1956 or 19.56%. So let me show you how to do this on the 12C calculator. Because they don't have a function, you've got to go through uh, several calculations here to get it to work, or several keystrokes to get it to work. All right, so let's call up the calculator. Um, what we're going to do here is we're going to go through the process. When you hit the G key, that gets these blue keys down here. Actually, let me make the skin a little bigger. Um, so when you hit the blue key, you get these, uh, the G key, you get these blue keys. When you hit the F key, you get these orange keys. So they want you to hit G and end is over the eight. And then they want you to clear the financial function. So F key and then clear fin right here clears all the financial functions. Wait a minute, I need to turn my calculator on. So let me, let me, let me do that again. So G end, and then the function here, clear that. So I've cleared all the financial functions. So what are we going to do here? We're going to enter the rate. We're going to put in 18, and we're going to hit enter. And then we're going to hit 12, and we're going to store that in N, and we're going to say divided by, so we're taking the 18% and dividing it by the 12, and then 
that's going to give us the one and a half percent hopefully and we'll store it as I then we're going to key in 100 change the sign enter and we're going to hit PV FV and plus let's see if that works so we've already cleared the functions I'm going to put in 18 enter right and let's make sure we get these right and then 12 is n we're going to say divided by there's our one and a half percent and we're going to store that as the interest rate and then the last functions are a hundred change sign enter PV right a lot of things to remember here a hundred CHS is change the sign and let me make sure I get this right enter and then PV and then we're going to hit FV and plus and there's our 19.56 percent so I don't know if that's an easier thing to remember than the formula but that's the keystroking for going from the APR to the EAR to the effective rate if we want to go from the a, from the EAR to the APR probably not as common remember the APR is what's quoted by law so actually if you go into a bank and most of us don't go into banks very often but if you go in there's a lot of times you'll see a a board uh, you know on a on a little easel and it tells you the different rates for certificates of deposit it'll give you the EP uh, the APR and then it'll also tell you the effective rate so if you want to go in the other direction you can take this original equation we just used and you can do some algebra and it turns out to be M times what's in these outer brackets and in the inner bracket it's 1 plus EAR raised to the 1 over M power okay it doesn't really quite look like it but that's raised to that power minus 1 and then times M all right and we can do this we'll do it for the 19.56 because we know it was 18 percent APR we'll just go backwards and if you do this 1 plus 0.1956 raised to the 1 12th power minus 1 times 12 and because it's actually not exactly 0 0.1956 it's 0.1956 and some decimal places it comes out to 0.17998 or rounds off to 18 percent let's try this on the 12c calculator again we're going to clear our financial functions we're going to put in the number of compounding periods we put in key in 100 enter PV and then we put in the EAR 19.56 plus change the sign FVI and then recall n and times all right so let's see if that that actually works here I'm going to clear my financial functions and then let's see what we can do here 12 and n so I'm going to put in 12 and that's the number of periods and then a hundred enter and PV a hundred enter PV we key in the 19.56 the plus sign change signs FVI all right so 19.56 plus change sign FV FV sorry I'm I'm I have to keep moving this I use the smaller skin so there we get the one and a half percent interest rate so if you think about it um, that was the conversion there and then we're going to hit recall n remember n was 12 and then hit times and there we get the 18 percent so this you can see you're just once you've calculated this um, this rate then you have to multiply it by the 12 so that's the part 
on the inner part of the bracket, and then the outer bracket is the multiply by the number of compounding periods. So you can see this works. I don't know if this is more convenient than knowing the formula, but this is the way you have to do it on the 12C.